This is one of our most mechanized machines. And as I mentioned earlier, we do things by hand, we do things by machine. Uh, and Debbie and Betsy are putting our chocolate creams on the bottomer. And the reason we call it the bottomer is because it puts the bottom on the candy. We run our Easter eggs, creams, as you see, these strawberry creams, vanilla creams, uh, peppermint patties, our pretzels, and even some of our decorated items are run on this belt. This belt is responsible for most of the chocolate that we make in the factory. And you are now looking at the cooling plate, which provides a means to solidify the liquid chocolate that was put on the bottom of the candy. And one thing to note, our bottoms uh, are all milk chocolate. There are, there are no other coatings that we put in the chocolate. And another thing interesting to note is that there is no wax in our chocolate. And Generally speaking, no candy makers use wax. The reason that has become almost um, an urban legend is that in some cookbooks, the cookbook author suggests putting some wax or paraffin to harden the chocolate. But because tempering chocolate is difficult to do if you have never done it before and most folks don't have the time to learn it. However, that's our business. Tempering chocolate, making sure that when you bite into these strawberry creams, the coating on the outside is shiny, it has a nice snap to it, and gives you a good mouthfeel. So our decades, and we are in our 93rd year of doing business, have proven that we know what we're doing in the chocolate business, make a great product, and have satisfied a lot of people, a lot of families, and it's become a tradition for many families. And you can now see the strawberry creams going into the curtain. And the reason we call it a curtain is because that's what it looks like. The chocolate comes down from the top, covers the entire cream, and it goes through a shaker so that the excess chocolate comes off. And now we can actually see the wheel where the chocolate comes out and the design is automated. It used to be by hand, but now it's an automated design, although we still do designs by hand. And as the design goes on the chocolates, the excess chocolate drips off on the wire belt goes below and you can see there is a shake that takes that excess chocolate off so that you have a nicer looking piece of chocolate. Now, after it leaves the wire belt, there's a transition onto the white belt and it goes into the cooling tunnel. And there, is provided a means for the chocolate to be cooled and it's going to be taken off on the other end and it cools for about 20 minutes. And 
right now, we're looking at our smaller enrober, which is a 10-inch enrober. And Helen is putting down marzipan, which is a terrific chocolate center. And as all our centers, uh, we make it here. The marzipan is basically very finely ground almonds and sugar. And it has a terrific taste, uh, a very refreshing taste. And the, the contrast is especially nice with the dark chocolate. This also, whereas we had a wider belt on the 24 inch, this 10 inch is only 10 inches wide and the chocolates, the marzipan with the, the dark chocolate bottom are going on the cooling plate. And this cooling plate, again, will solidify the bottoms. And soon they will be going into the uh, curtain. Now, we make virtually everything that we do in milk chocolate, we do in dark chocolate. And the, a lot of people say they don't like dark chocolate, but they have not tasted our dark chocolate. Our dark chocolate has a very uh, fine texture, great mouth feel, and a great taste. It's a very pleasing uh, flavor. Moreover, we have 72% uh, bittersweet chocolate, which is an excellent piece. It has more cocoa butter product, more cacao product than the dark chocolate. And that's why it's called 72%, because 72% of it is the cocoa bean. Okay. Now these marzipans are going onto the wire belt. And the reason there's a wire belt is so the chocolate can flow over the piece, through the piece, and then the chocolate is collected at the bottom and then wheeled up to the top to cover. And you can see the chocolate wheels. Some machines use pump. These machines use wheels, but they both do the same job. And now we are seeing some of these pieces just start to peek through, and here they come. They're going on that underneath that uh, stringer and or decorator, and the reason some people call it as a stringer, is that the chocolate is like a string and puts the design. And the machine is adjustable for a variety of designs. So these products uh, look pretty to see and it is the, the contrast in the white, on the white belt to me is very striking. And they're all lined up nicely. And uh, it really makes me proud to see us create such fine chocolates. Now, these are going in the cooling tunnel. And they will be coming out of the cooling tunnel again in about 20 minutes. So this, this is the uh, cooling tunnel for the 10 inch. And Joyce will be taking some marzipan out right here. And she's checking the bottoms to make sure that they're covered totally. And of course they are. Again, the marzipan is an exceptionally fine piece of chocolate. It's one of my favorites. 
and there's a lot of skill into making that chocolate. Now we're seeing the strawberry creams come out and Judy and Mia are taking these out, putting these in stock boxes and these stock boxes will go to our wholesale customers or they'll go to the packing line, or they'll go to the retail store in Hermitage, or a retail store in Boardman. And then from there, they'll go in the showcase, and then a customer can say, I want a pound of strawberries, or I want two strawberries. Whatever they want, we'll pack for them, wrap it up, put it in a box or a bag, whatever they'd like, and that's how the strawberry starts at the top of the belt, ends here, and then continues on to either one of our retail stores or one of our customers' retail stores, because we wholesale these products throughout the United States. And we have customers, wholesale customers, primarily in about three or four states, and have shipped all over the nation, wholesale and, of course, retail.